like hunting, fishing, and the great outdoors, then come along today with Dave Embry in search of the world's greatest outdoor adventures. You'll go all over the world, from Alaska to South America, Canada to Mexico, in search of the most elusive and dangerous game in the world. This is Dave Embry's Adventures in the Wild. Today, on Adventures in the Wild, go with Dave to Alaska in search of the most exciting and beautiful big game animal in the world, the Alaskan caribou. The largest type of this species, known as the barren ground caribou, is found throughout the north. But the largest of these elegant deer inhabit a remote and beautiful portion of the state known as the Alaskan Peninsula. It is here that Dave will team up with veteran Alaskan big game guide and outfitter Mike Muncy of Muncy Bear Camp. Together, they'll go after the truly magnificent wanderer of the north, the Alaskan caribou. Well, you know, of all the marvelous big game species on the face of this continent, the caribou is undoubtedly the most elegant in our cast of North American trophy game. Their real glory, and the thing that makes them a trophy hunter's delight, is their astonishingly large antlers. And not only are these antlers big, but come in a bewildering variety of standard shapes and configurations. It's well known that the trophy-sized caribou bulls carry the largest antlers in relation to their body size of any other deer in the world. The main beams sweep back, up, then forward, and the ends of the main beams and one or more of the branches from each main beam are usually palmated and will have several points. They have unique brow tines which extends over the face and are called shovels. About one in 10,000 caribou will have the highly coveted double shovel where both brow tines are palmated. A big bull's antler length may equal the bull's height at the shoulders of 50 to 60 inches. It may be just as wide and spread. Only a very large Alaskan moose standing 80 to 90 inches at the shoulders with antlers that may have a spread of 70 to 80 inches can even begin to match either feature. In Alaska, caribou are the most plentiful big game animals with total populations now estimated at 500,000 to 600,000. Many of these inhabit the Alaskan Peninsula, a remote, mostly uninhabited stretch of land in southwestern Alaska with the Aleutian Islands at the end. As is the case when traveling to most parts of Alaska to hunt or fish, there's only one way to get in and get out of these areas, and that's the way we'll start out today, by bush plane. Before I get started. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good, good, good. good. Who's these fellas? Well, there's a couple hundred that came in, like meeting Mike Patterson. Mike, hey, Dave, Dave Emery. Good to meet you. Randy Dieter. Randy. Nice and Ed Bowen. Good. How you doing, bud? Yeah, how y'all fellas doing? Come on, Dave. Good, Rob. Hi, Dave. Bob. Good. What are we going to do? Come on up and uh, All right. get organized. Yeah, yeah, got it? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Find some caribou. Oh, sounds good. I've got a hot cup of coffee. All right. All right. We'll do that first. Good. We have some decent weather. Yeah, it's starting to break up a little bit. It was pretty bad over in King Salmon. All right. There you go. There's your uh, tent over there. Okay. I'm comfortable. And I'll be in here. Come on over and have a cup of coffee. Sounds good. We'll do it. Well, nice place. yeah, come on in. <laughs> have some good. coffee hot. Have a seat. All right. All right. Well, this is pretty nice and roomy in here. Thanks. Yeah, it worked out pretty good. Well, how was your how was your flight? A little bumpy? 
Yeah, it wasn't bad, you know, it's the weather's starting to break up pretty good over there. Yeah. yeah, it's been I real nasty here the last couple of days, but it looks like it might be breaking. Maybe what they said over in King Salmon, we had a decent weather. pretty good flight there from Anchorage, you know, and uh, yeah. came into King Salmon a little bit late, but the winds were really high when we came in. Uh, well, I've been seeing lots of caribou. I've been seeing uh, uh, on this back ridge behind the camp. He probably flew over when you came yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, he uh, made a little, little, the pallet made a little circle right here before we landed. There's a mm -hmm. good sized group back there with some nice bulls in it. And uh, there's an area up there where we can get and uh, caribou cross down. And mm -hmm. a little bit of luck, they'll come right by us. If we have to go to that back ridge, it's a long way. Mm -hmm. But I figure we can <laughs> cut them off on the way. Then, uh, might well, they just sort of traveling to from uh, one area over to the other. Yeah, area. they're migrating now from out uh, way out west in the chain up north uh, around King Salmon. Mm -hmm. And we're just kind of on the edge of the migration. And uh, uh, usually there's uh, a few you know, good sized herds passing through all the time. Hopefully they're close around. So, anyway, we got. Uh, We'll get up probably, uh, when we get you about 5.30 and we'll go out first light. All right. Breakfast first and take off. And uh, We're about how far away from the Pacific Ocean here? Oh, we're, we're probably uh, maybe 10 or 15 miles is all. We're, really? we're pretty, pretty close, close to uh, Shellacross Strait. Yeah, actually we're not, we're only about uh, probably 70 miles, 75 miles from our camp over there on Kodiak. We're actually pretty close. Huh. Not that well, it's sort of funny, the uh, terrain is not really what I expected for caribou. Uh, yeah, these they, guys hang in this, around these hills. Yeah, or? in this area, it's kind of unusual, but they uh, they do travel through the mountains quite a bit uh, here. They come down through the brush even, uh -huh. and you'll see caribou um, in alders, which is really unusual <laughs> here, right where the bears are. But they're they're real nervous. They're always uh, uh, running when they're in the brush because they're mm -hmm. real nervous. We've they seen a couple of. Really uh, um, the kills that uh, bears were on. Apparently, oh, the bears, really? bears killed a nice caribou. Yeah, we got, so it, uh, you got what, four or five bear hunters in camp, too. Yeah, so. yep, we sure you do. You bear, like brown bear uh, hunting here. And, uh, after one, so. And we've been seeing a lot of bear, too, so it would be a good hunt. Yeah, yeah it's the end of the uh, uh, salmon run, I guess, so the yep. bears are congregating down around the rivers. Yep. And, uh, yeah, they should be here for another week or two weeks, and the salmon will be getting too old for them to, uh, uh, to eat, so. Should be real good hunting for both caribou and bear. I've been seeing okay. a lot of each. All righty, about 5.30 in the morning, huh? Yeah, it's going to be an early one. Got the coffee ready? Yeah, we'll have the coffee on. <laughs> Very good. And the stove's on. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Yeah. Dress warmly, though. It's cold out there. All righty. Stay tuned. Adventures in the Wild will return right after this. Good walk, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a mile or two. Huh? Yeah. 
Oh, good. We're just going to watch down here along. <laughs> yeah, that's a good area. A lot of times the uh, uh, caribou come off this back hill behind us, huh. cut down, go across this valley and up the other side. So we'll, we'll see some through here once in a while. Oh, good. So be able to see something. A lot of hills here to, yeah. to watch. Yeah. But do they stay in the in the open more than they will uh, in the yeah the they don't like the uh, they don't like the brush at all they're, they're the bears get them so uh, they they're real nervous when they're going through the brush they're always seem like they're always just Go, hightailing it going but, fast yeah they like that uh, that open stuff up there near the top it's mm -hmm. just about the only place you see them except if they're traveling from one ridge to another then they'll cross through some of this uh, low stuff like mm -hmm. this but when they're up on that high stuff they're so far away and so tough to pack out you have to take out all the meat so yeah. Hopefully, uh, one That's will come down thing. close. Yeah, Jay got a real nice one yesterday. Oh, you see that? That's my a, gosh. That a real was, nice caribou. Boy, that was beautiful. I, mm -hmm. I enjoyed being there on that. It was just fun just to sit back and watch it. Yeah, yeah we were just sitting over there at Ruth Lake, and uh, he just uh, popped up over the next <laughs> uh, ridge from us and uh, started walking our way. We couldn't have picked it any better. Yeah, I, uh, I couldn't believe it. They started to go across the... Uh, the uh, little neck of the river up there first it looked like and then mm -hmm. they, they changed their mind and, and it went back and uh, mm -hmm. next thing you know they were popping up over the little knoll just right there right there by us we had to move it maybe what four or five feet <laughs> yeah to get out of their way they're gonna run us down <laughs> yeah that was great yeah that one the one in the front there he was a a, a pretty bull that's uh yeah uh, he had some some pretty good uh, spread yeah. to him and they're both good bulls but that uh yeah, the one was was real nice but I'm sure it's lucky to have them come up that close. We have real good eyesight, uh -huh. and you uh, usually they see you a long ways off and detour around you. But yeah. they just uh, we were hidden pretty came good right up. There. Yeah, yeah. What, what's that down there? Look, oh, look. Look. looks like a caribou. Yeah, he's yeah. coming right through the brush. Yeah, <laughs> Gee, I wonder where he came Grief. from. Isn't that something? Look, he's look at him. We're walking right down through there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah, yeah look at this. This is unbelievable. Well, maybe we sat in the hot spot today. <laughs> you hear that? What? What is it? Something in the brush? Uh oh, not a bear, is it? <laughs> I don't know. You better grab your rifle. Okay, let me get it here. All right, what I'll get ready. You, some coming. Oh, yeah. it's caribou. Oh, is it? They're <laughs> coming right down there. I'll be darned. It is. Boy. This is unbelievable. He's gonna get close. <laughs> coming right down through here. Well, be Goodness darned. gracious! Look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's just cruising on. I don't think he even saw us. Oh boy, at least don't need my rifle, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See if I can wave him in. Hey, look. Go ahead. Hey, hey, come on in, fella. Over here. Hey. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> there he goes. I don't think he liked that idea too much, did he? <laughs> well, you know, I guess he's a little too close. Yeah, yeah. There, he's coming right down across the mountain here. And yeah, he's okay. he's just going to cut right across that valley, looks like. Yeah, you hey, was it something up there? I don't know. You hear something? Well, it's way up there. No, I thought I saw something way up, way up there, see? Oh, yeah. Up there. It looks like there's one way up there on the ridge, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? What yeah. do you think? Take a look at him, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a nice Is one. He a pretty good one. I think so. Yeah. Boy, Take a look, see what see what you think about him. I don't know if he's, you know, you got you know more about uh, measuring these things from a distance than I do. Yeah, I think he's maybe gonna go on down that uh, through that next ravine. You think? Uh huh. Yeah, that's a long ways down there, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Mile, mile know. and a half. Let me take a look at him. See yeah, what he check looks it out. Like. And see. Oh yeah, he's a nice caribou. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah he looks. Boy, he looks of course, nice. they all look big. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh. he's uh, he's a ways down there. Boy, we're gonna have to uh, really run, have to huh? really hustle. Think he's gonna cross down there by that other place where a lot of them been cr coming up and down? Yeah, I think he might. I think he might. But it's uh, oh, it looks like a good mile down there, so. Well, yeah. I got my jogging shoes on. I guess these waders are real comfortable for running, you know, cross country. So uh, well, he's got a lot of height to him. Looks good. Let's try it. What the heck? Let's okay, go. let's go. Give it a try. All right. Stay tuned. Adventures in the Wild will return right after this. A little bit. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Okay. Not the easiest stuff to run in. <laughs> okay. Take a rest. <laughs> hey, your legs doing? Oh, it's holding up barely. 
Oh, what are they? Big ones. Man, it's a big one, yeah. What do you think it is? About 60, 70 inches? Yeah, that's a nice one. Hey, I wish we were moose hunting. Oh, he's coming down faster now. Halfway down now. Okay. Now, what do you think, boys? It's getting down pretty quick. I don't know if I make it or not. Won't have much time for a shot. Get through that, uh, that opening and it comes out of that place. I think we can take it. All right. Okay. Oh, boy. We already charged through that last part. It's like coming down. Coming down here, right here. Get right up and through and okay. get shot your rifle ready. Yep. It's going back up. It's starting to go back up. They're like taking. Oh, oh still. Good. Oh, he went down. He went down. Yeah, good shot. Boy, not much more. He would have been gone. He's down, isn't he? Yeah. He's down. <laughs> that was a race. <laughs> that was a race. That's, that's more than half, that's more like a mile, I think. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, lungs are burning, I tell you. Whew. Well, I'm gonna let him sit there a second and we'll yeah. walk up there and... <laughs> that was the uh, biggest race I've ever raced <laughs> for an animal before in my life. Yeah, I'm surprised you're able to keep the sights on him, boy. Oh, <laughs> like bouncing out the boat, yeah. you know. That wasn't that far. Yeah, and he was going away. Yeah. Boy, uh, you think he saw us or what? I don't know. I think he. I think he might have heard us coming through the crowd. We, were, we weren't going too quietly coming up through there. But I think he might have heard us and uh, pretty fast. But another few more feet, he'd have been in that brush. <laughs> well, you want to try to go up after him? Yeah. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice pack here. All right. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'll take mine off too. Take this sweater off. He's got a pretty good. He's up a couple hundred feet up that way. So. All right. See him in there. Oh, yeah, you see his tongue sticking up a little bit. That's a nice one. Dead? Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice caribou. Looks good. Boy, he's got yeah. to look at the points on him. Yeah. Boy, sucker, you gave us a run. Dead. Hey, Good all right. Cool, appreciate it. Good job. Oh. Good job. <laughs> he sent us on a little chase, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. You can pick him up a little bit. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Nice white mane there. Kind of dark down this area, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. A lot of them have a white up here and white back here. But it's kind of dark here. Nice and uniform up here, too. Yeah. Yeah, I like it when the uh, shovel kind of curve around like that uh -huh. on both well, sides. It's cool. real yeah. symmetrical. Look at the width of that shovel there in the front. Yeah, that's nice. I think that would kind of affect his eyesight a little <laughs> bit. He's going about uh, 10 inches. Nine and a half, 10 inches. We had another second one right alongside that. Yeah, it would have made it perfect. Yeah. Oh, boy, they got a big body size on them, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they sure do. A big animal. Tremendous. Yeah, he's <laughs> not hurting for points. Lots of points, huh? <laughs> Oh, what an exciting chase. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, that was great. Thanks again. You're welcome. Nothing like hunting right. caribou in Alaska. Yep. Whew. <sighs> Need to go back to the pack and get that thermos out. <laughs> yeah, time for a couple <laughs> of All right. Let's go do that. Yeah, we'll probably have to make two trips to get all this good meat back to camp. Yeah. I like to think of wildlife as time goes racing by. When days fly off like leaves are tossed and blown against the sky, the deep and secret rhythm of creatures who abide in the forest, river, desert, cross this continent so wide. Yes, the deep and secret rhythm of the wildlife that still roam 
In mountains, valleys, meadows, cross America. Well, before we put away our packs and cameras until the next trip, I just wanted to thank you for watching the show and giving me the opportunity to share with you some of my outdoor adventures that I've been lucky enough to have. I really would appreciate you letting me know how you liked today's show and Adventures in the Wild. Please write to me with your comments and suggestions and let me know what you would most like to see on the show. Send your letters to Adventures in the Wild. P.O. Box 702160, Tulsa, Oklahoma 74170. And remember, it was the hunters who have, through the Pittman Robertson Act, contributed almost two and a half billion dollars towards the conservation of America's wildlife populations. These contributions were paid entirely by hunters through special taxes assessed only on special hunting gear, firearms, ammunition, and archery products and were allocated by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service solely towards the conservation of wildlife and wildlife habitat. Without these special taxes, not only would it most likely have been impossible for me to bring you our show today, but there probably would be no hunting by hunters, wildlife to see by nature lovers, or animals in our national parks and countrysides for our grandchildren to see. So on behalf of myself, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the many fine manufacturers of these special outdoor products, I just wanted to say thanks for restoring America's wildlife populations to all-time record high. Thanks. and the great outdoors, then come along today with Dave Embry in search of the world's greatest outdoor adventures. You'll go all over the world, from Alaska to South America, Canada to Mexico, in search of the most elusive and dangerous game in the world. This is Dave Embry's Adventures in the Wild. Today on Adventures in the Wild, go with Dave South to Texas in search of the massive antlered South Texas Whitetail. Outside the small town of Carrizo Springs, just 30 miles north of the Mexican border, Dave will team up with Donnie Worthington, 